I've been taking ADHD medication for close to two years at this point, and I've made a lot of progress updates to share how my life has changed. But under each and every video I post, there's always the same type of comments. Enjoy it now, because it only lasts a few months. It will stop working, it will all be over soon, and your life will suck basically. Which it would, to be honest. These comments really scared me. But is there any truth to them? Does ADHD medication stop working? And do you have to keep increasing your dose until nothing helps anymore? What these questions are really asking is, do you build a tolerance to ADHD medication and then stop noticing its effects? Like when you first start drinking coffee or alcohol, don't drink alcohol, and it has a huge effect on you, but then eventually it mellows out and you can handle more and more without feeling jittery or drunk. You build a tolerance. That's often how the body works. Even with things like exercise, you adapt and become stronger, so you have to keep leveling up your workouts and strategies if you want to keep making progress. So of course that's the case for ADHD medication as well. But with all of these three examples, there is still an effect even if you don't feel it as much. Exercise is always healthy, coffee always gives you some type of boost, however small, etc. And if you optimize your daily activities and sleep cycles and whatnot, you can get even more out of these things. So of course, that's the case for ADHD medication as well. My first two months on medication were really intense, both with the positive and negative side effects. I was told to use this time to build a system that would help me make the best of my medication going forward. And I did. Around month three, I stopped noticing the effects as much and I had to increase my dose, which started another period of adjusting that took maybe five months to get out of. Around month eight, it all leveled out. I haven't increased my dose since then. I still feel the effects now. A year later, they're not as dramatic as they were before, but they are definitely noticeable, especially if I skip my meds, because sometimes it's easy to forget how hard life can be without them. So it's kind of eye-opening every time I forget to take them and I'm like, damn, I don't want to go back to that life, but I might have to because my meds don't motivate me as much as they did before. They give me a choice and a sense of focus and determination that I can use however I wish, but it's different. Now I intentionally start my morning routine and go through it, preparing myself for the day and eventually I get motivated, like before. It's not the same, but I wouldn't trade it for the world. And again, I might have to. My experience is just under two years and while things are amazing right now, who knows? One clinical study showed that 24.7% of patients develop tolerance to stimulants in the time of days to weeks. Another one showed that 2.7% developed the tolerance over 10 years. Long-term follow-up studies demonstrate that medication response may lessen over longer durations of treatments in a high percentage of patients. And obviously, that sucks. It's absolutely my experience too. But do keep in mind that there is a difference between full tolerance and some tolerance. So maybe I'll get lucky and I'll retain this stage of focus and determination that is noticeable and still incredibly helpful. I mean, this problem isn't unique to ADHD medication, so there are people researching options and alternatives that might help, with both scientists and treating doctors looking into things like drug holidays, changing the types of medication, and still success rates really vary, and it involves a lot of work between each specific patient and their doctor, and that also sucks. Because doctors everywhere are super overwhelmed, and they never have time for people anyway. So like, how many of us will actually get the proper help if we do end up building a tolerance? So what boss or parent or GP or teacher will even care if you need to readjust your treatment because it's not working. Will they believe? Some of them already think we're basically cheating with our focus drugs, so if you're on meds, there might be this expectation for you to perform and not complain. And maybe no one will believe you if you can't. Tolerance is real. And still, so are strategies that at least make medication work for longer and better like the things that I do in my life. So watch this video to learn my best ADHD strategies that neurotypical people don't teach you because you deserve to achieve your goals without constantly struggling and forcing yourself to do things you don't want to do.